Are you curious to know which home improvements increase the resale value of your home? By the end of this video, I will share with you seven upgrades that increase the value of your home. Now here's the crazy part. Many of these upgrades will get you back 90 to 100% of the original amount you invested in the upgrade at the time of resale. Hey everyone, my name is Moise Rahma, and you may call me Mo if it's easier. I actively sell real estate across the Durham region and the GTA with Remax Impact Realty. So let's dive right into it. The first home improvement which increases the resale value of your home is painting. I personally love darker and warmer color tones, similar to the wall color that I have behind me. However, studies show that home buyers are not interested in a home that has darker paint. In my opinion, this is the first upgrade that you should consider working on and investing in because this might be the first thing that a buyer sees as soon as they walk into your home. Go with the most neutral colors, such as light gray, light blue, and maybe even light brown. Pick a neutral shade that matches and complements your furniture. If you intend to stage your home, get a professional consultation from a stager and get their advice on what color they recommend will best complement their staging furniture. The next home improvement that increases the resale value of your home is a minor kitchen remodel. Research indicates that if you invest in a minor kitchen remodel that costs you roughly between twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars, not only do buyers find it more attractive, but there's a much higher chance of you being able to recoup seventy-five percent to ninety-five percent of the original investment of that upgrade compared to a major upscale kitchen renovation in which you'd be lucky to get 50% of your original investment. I have seen homeowners recoup 100% of the amount they invested in their kitchen upgrade. And yes, it was a minor kitchen remodel. So the same analogy also goes for the washrooms of the home. And I would recommend that if you're on a tight budget, you begin with the master ensuite if you have one and then work your way from there. The next upgrade that increases the value of your home is curb appeal. Curb appeal is all about making a connection with the buyer before they even enter your home. A 2020 study, 91% of realtors felt that their clients were more attracted to the home if it had good landscaping. It also sends out the message that the seller does take care of their home and they really do care to make the sale happen. They've made a sincere effort to make the sale happen, which really does motivate the buyer to make an offer on the home compared to a home that looks like it has been neglected. The next upgrade is hardwood flooring. This is a huge one. Never have I ever in my time selling real estate have a buyer say to me that they prefer carpet over hardwood flooring on the main level. I have, however, heard that many home buyers prefer to have carpet upstairs or in the basement. It's warmer and comfortable to the feet. However, on the main floor, hardwood flooring is almost always preferred. Hardwood flooring, put together with hardwood stairs and wrought iron pickets, is an extremely attractive upgrade. I was unable to locate a study that outlines a specific number for this upgrade. However, flooring, more specifically, hardwood flooring is one of the first things my clients usually notice as soon as they walk into the home. The next upgrade that increases the resale value of your home is a finished basement. Most brand new homes do not come with a professionally finished basement from the builder. If you invest in that upgrade, it makes your home stand out compared to all the other homes on that street. Consider the following. You are adding more heated square footage to your home which does ultimately bump up the value of your home. It allows for more space to host extended families and oftentimes an additional recreation room for entertaining purposes, gym, studio, office, workshop, and more. If you have the space and you have the budget, I recommend you include the following in your finished basement. Bathroom, kitchen, if not that, and a wet bar, and if not that, the rough end for a kitchen, separate entrance. The next upgrade that increases the resale value of your home is adding an outdoor space. 
Adding an outdoor retreat makes your home extremely attractive, especially during these times where families are forced to stay home, work from home, and maybe even isolate. Now, you have full control on how invested you get in this project. At the bare minimum, I would recommend adding a deck or a porch, but you can go as far as to add a pool, a hot tub, a fire pit, a backyard patio, outdoor kitchen, valuable landscaping, a fountain, pond, and more. Studies show that in most scenarios, 90% of the original investment is recouped at the time of resale. And the last thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about today that does increase the resale value of your home is upgrading any items or aspects of your home that reduce the maintenance hassle for the future buyer. If your home is 10 to 15 years old or more, any big ticket items that would require the buyer's immediate attention sooner than later, as soon as they take over the home, could be extremely off-putting. It can actually even jeopardize your deal. So I would highly recommend that if you have the ability to, you either remedy or replace these big ticket items. Not only will it prevent your deal from falling apart, but it'll also give you more leverage when you're negotiating the offer, ultimately increasing your chances of getting top dollar. Please consider the following. These items include, but are not limited to, the roof, the HVAC system, the electrical wiring, the electrical panel, the insulation, septic tank, water well, water quality, wood burning fireplace maintenance, windows, and more. So folks, there you have it, seven upgrades that will increase the resale value of your home. If you found this video helpful, feel free to share it with your friends, but more importantly, please press the like button. It helps me tremendously. Now my next video is gonna be, how much does it actually cost to professionally sell your home? I made a video a while ago on how much does it cost to buy a house, and it's actually one of my best performing videos. So to the contrary, we're gonna make a video on how much does it cost to sell a house. So please subscribe to ensure that you don't miss that video. Now in the description is a link to sign up to my monthly electronic newsletter. Every month I curate a newsletter personally. It has home buyer tips, home seller tips, but most importantly, it has a market update on what's going on in the real estate market. Feel free to sign up. All right guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Hope you have an awesome day. Moiz Rahman. Thank you so much for watching the video. Here are a few more videos that you can watch. And if you haven't already, please go to my caption, find the link and subscribe to my monthly market newsletter by email. I personally put that newsletter together myself to make sure it's fully engaging, has all the information you need and my clients absolutely love it.